Most graphical tools in your life have a text-based counterpart which is often way more powerful. For example, you can replace your graphical word processor with LaTeX and Markdown. Or replace your graphical website editor with real code. But is there a text-based counterpart for your personal finances? This is where BeanCount comes in. But why do you want to use a text editor? Let me explain. I first have to tell you that this tutorial series is aimed at people who have at least basic programming experience. If you don't care about that, you may not be the target audience. Text-based tools have the following advantages. You can lint your transactions. So if you have a spending error or a typo, your editor will underline it in red. It is version controllable. You can track your changes like a software project, where you split it into multiple files and then include each other. If something weird is going on, just do a git blame and it becomes obvious. It is scriptable, so you can import transactions from your bank account by writing a shell script. You can download price histories from wherever you want and even export your data back into whatever format you prefer. It has an ecosystem with available tools which you can find on GitHub, together with other plugins. It is open source, it means no vendor lock-in. And you can leverage your favorite text editor with all the auto-completion and all the other stuff you're already used to. This is how it looks like. You write all your transactions down like you see here. So every time you go to Aldi and buy some groceries, you book it like this. But isn't this tedious? Isn't this a lot of typing you have to do? Not really. Because pretty much every modern editor supports a feature called snippets. A snippet is a generated text block which your editor expands for you. So I could go down to the bottom of this file and type Aldi. And now when I press tab, it will expand to this block with the proper date filled in. All I have to do now is to fill in the amount I have paid and that's it. This is everything that BeanCount needs from you. Just specify how much money goes from account A to account B and then let BeanCount derive tons of useful information for you. So how do I use all this data? You can query it from the comment line, but there is also this amazing frontend called Fava. It will show you charts, diagrams and other cool stuff. Here you can see a graph showing how your net worth is growing over time. And here is a summary containing all the accounts which hold your assets. Let's click on Wallet. At the bottom you see a listing of all purchases made with your wallet. From this information, BeanCount can derive how much money you had in your physical wallet at any point in time. If you are investing your money, you can go to holdings and then list them by currency. The guy in this example has 4400 in euros and almost a thousand shares of the FTSE All World. He is now about 20% in profit and has invested 92,000 euros which is now worth around 111k. Let's look into where this guy is spending his money. I will switch to the monthly view of the expenses section where we can see how much has been spent each month over the last 4 years. And one month sticks out here, which we can investigate by clicking onto the timeline. Now we have a breakdown of all expenses in this month. The shopping account is suspicious, but if we click on it, it becomes obvious where all the money went. I will show you how to get started with BeanCount in the next episode.